Hey there, Grant Woldridge with Woldridge Boats here introducing you to a new model here in 2015. This is the Sports Tour. So what is neat about this boat, it is a jet boat. Uh, this one is set up with a tiller. You can set it up with a center console or you can set it up with a front windshield just like any of our boats. Uh, inboard or outboard jet, outboard prop if you like. Lots of different things you can do with it. It has the Woldridge Tunnel so it's a super aggressive shallow water handling boat. But we added a few more features to target some bigger water, whether it's the Columbia River or bigger lakes and reservoirs. What we did, we went with a very wide bottom, seven foot, four inch wide bottom, 88 inches. It's got a, a eight foot, 10 inch wide beam. We added some more V. Without compromising that shallow jet boat ability, we went to 12 degree dead rise in the back, 18 degrees in the front. I wouldn't want to go too much more than this, and as that would compromise the ability to really run shallow, really run aggressive with our tunnel. So we're adding some features to make you feel comfortable in that bigger water. We've got the nice high sides, there's 30 inch high sides here. Of course we have our Woldridge toe kick, walk your feet up right underneath the side, feel comfortable leaning out, netting a fish, dealing with fender, whatever. Um, nice 12 inch wide gunnels on top, top load rod lockers as you can see. This is all standard equipment on this Sportster. Um, Put your rods in through the top, nice dry place to store them. Um, instead of having to go in through the side, if you're a guide and there's people sitting here, it's kind of awkward to have everybody move to get your rods. This is a, a resolution for that. Um, this is a standard way to do it. We also can do full length, welded, whatever you want. These two are standard though. Boat comes standard with that lower tray below it. Rod holders down there as well, that's standard. Double tray extensions in the front, that is standard. Diamond plate step deck in the front, rope and chain storage under the front bow cap, that is all standard. Optional on this boat, there's a number of cool things that we've added. Built into the front step deck, there's a huge storage area in front. There's a big storage area, and this back one's split in two. Storage for batteries, plunder, whatever it is, on this side a huge fish box, okay? You can mix and match, do a number of different ways with that. Boat's painted on the inside, nice Zolotone paint. We got some cleats added. It's got the Miller Marine track system, so moving rods forward and back, bait stations, barbecue, different things like that. That's very handy at times. Um, the boat has some locking transom storage in the back, so if it's batteries, gear, Plano storage, tackle boxes, you can lock it all up. We've got an electronics locker here. You can put up to a 12 inch screen inside this thing. Our switches, gauges, that's all hidden in there. The door slides off quickly. You can leave it in the truck when you're out fishing, but then when you're back at the hotel or at the restaurant, you can lock up your electronics. We have a hot sink in the back. You can to your kicker. Keep your hands warm when it's out there and it's cold. We also have a bleeder box here in the back corner. It drops all the way down below water level. You drop your fish down in from the top, water comes in, it bleeds it so it's nice and clean so we're not just taking that fish right out and running blood across the floor up to the cooler. Um, some cleats set up really nice. Um, this boat handles incredible. It's got our tunnel as I said so we're not compromising on super aggressive shallow water handling like a, a lot of the local western Washington rivers though that type of stuff is all over the U.S. You still want to be able to handle the boat in shallow water, corner hard, go where you point it. But also this boat has the bigger features again for bigger water, lakes, reservoirs and, and, and big rivers. So that, that's what's so unique about this haul. We're really excited about it. Lots of different configurations. This is a 21 footer. We also will make it in a 23 and also in a 25. So it's, it's you're really gonna cover a lot of margin here. So we're real excited about it. Um, I'll show you how it runs here in a second.